Now it turns out that the complex quaternions give a faithful representation of the Clifford algebra CL2. So here at the bottom we have the identity, which is just the zero vector. On the next level, we have i and j, which are the one vectors, or in other words, our generating space. And at the top, we have i times j, which is our bivector, which gives k. Now you can see that this is a Clifford algebra in the sense that if I were to relabel this as gamma 1, and this one as gamma 2, then under anti-commutation, we see that we have this relation. Now it turns out that I can rewrite this generating space in terms of a new basis. So let me define alpha like this. an alpha dagger like this. Now look what happens under this change of basis. That is, alpha and alpha dagger behave like fermionic raising and lowering operators. Finally, we can write down a number operator in the usual way. But of course, we only have one alpha and one alpha dagger, so this number operator only has one term in it. Now you might ask, why do we care about Clifford algebras? That is, why do we care that the complex quaternions give a faithful representation of a Clifford algebra?